What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with uh, no more Godzilla game reviews or anything like that. Today we are going to be reviewing the Godzilla books that I have. And uh, since I didn't want to do each one separate, I can just do each one very shortly and just kind of give you an overview of what they are. First of all, we have Godzilla Returns. My, uh, mind you, these are very old, so I mean, they are not in the greatest condition, but they are in the best condition that I am able to keep them in so far. So there's the front cover, very nice front cover of this book, and the back cover, and then of course the side, and what I'll do is what I'm going to read off the back side of the books for you guys as my little review for each one. <clears throat> Destruction Beyond the Limits of Human Imagination 1954, Tokyo, Japan is leveled by a gigantic, rampaging monster, a force more powerful than a tsunami, more devastating than an atomic bomb. The creature is supposedly killed, but the few who survived his attack are forever haunted by a paralyzing fear that he could rise again. 1996, Brian Shimura, a Japanese-American college student, has, a, has just arrived in Tokyo to work as a newspaper intern. His first assignment is to help investigate the so-called return of some legendary dinosaur monster. But when the fiery destruction begins, Brian's skepticism is quickly transformed into an awesome dread. This mythic monster is no myth. Godzilla has come back to rage again. Great book. I've read it several times. Highly recommend it if you can find it anywhere. It's a great read. Godzilla vs. the Space Monster, which is none other than King Ghidorah himself. And, uh, I mean, there's the front cover, very nice front cover, you know, side. This book is a lot thinner, you know, you can almost read this book and not even an hour it would take you. Very nice short stories. So, anyway, and each book has this to start off, so I'm just going to read this once for this one and then go on with the rest. So, <clears throat> anyway. He began life as the dinosaur Godzillasaurus, and for millions of Godzilla so yeah, Godzillasaurus, and for millions of years he lived peacefully on a small Pacific island. But then atomic bomb test exposed him to radiation and transformed him into the legendary monster Godzilla. This time it's personal. Twelve year old Troy Richmond wishes something interesting would happen in his boring life. He gets his wish when a chunk of space rock lands near his Indiana home and plants a message in his mind. King Ghidorah, a terrible three-headed dragon, is coming to destroy the Earth. And the rock tells Troy how to defeat it. When King Ghidorah arrives, it attacks Godzilla's friends on Monster Island. Godzilla takes it very personally, but even Godzilla's rage cannot stop this terrible monster from space. Now Godzilla's only hope lies with a kid from Indiana. And this book, of course, has Godzilla, Anguirus, Batra, Kamakaris, King Ghidorah, Kumanga, Manda, Mothra, Rodan, and Varan. Those are the monsters that appear in this book. In Godzilla Returns, of course, that's simple. It was just Godzilla. Now we have Godzilla Invades America. Very nice cover. I believe he's tacking Las Vegas or something like that. And now I'll just read, well, there's the back, you know, nothing too crazy. I'll just read the back of it for you guys. <clears throat> when a secret experiment in the Nevada desert goes terribly wrong, a tiny scorpion is accidentally mutated into a dangerous giant. Americans flee their homes in fear as the huge insect rages across the southwest. Meanwhile, off the coast of California, Godzilla is rising from the Pacific Ocean. He has come to, has he come to help or to add to the destruction? Everyone waits and wonders as these two terrifying creatures come together. Will they join forces to conquer the country or a clash in the biggest monster battle America has ever seen? Now, in this book, it, all, it says in the little thing down here that only Godzilla is in the book. And, of course, they don't have a name for the giant scorpion since he wasn't really a kaiju in the Godzilla series. And he never appeared in anything else except this. But um, in, inside the book, it shows Kamakaris and it shows Kamanga. So I know they make an appearance as well. And now, for my last book, Godzilla Journey to Monster Island. This is a very good book. Nice picture of the 1964 Godzilla Mosogoji suit. 
and then of course the bat. And now I'll read the little thing for you guys. Lost in America. After invading the United States, Godzilla is unhappy, alone, and hunted by a fearful military. Then he meets a strange group of giant insects and animals, and together they team up to defend themselves. Luckily, a courageous pair of twins want to help. Roy and Amy are able to make the authorities understand that Godzilla just wants to find a way home. With the twins' help, Godzilla leads his giant friends on a wild, rowdy journey to a place called Monster Island. But once they get there, they find that their only chance to live in peace may to put up one last fight. All these books are fantastic. I highly recommend them all. And there's many other Godzilla books out there that you can find online. I just haven't gotten around to buying anymore. And uh, maybe I will in the future. But for now, we are Godzilla fan freaks. These were the Godzilla these were the Godzilla books that I own. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.